Standing by right now, and uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Preet Bharara being fired. Uh, and Tanya, a name here in New York that we know very, very well yes. as a um, as a guy that doesn't seem to uh, look at uh, political uh, labels. He just goes after anybody he thinks might be a crook, and now he's gone. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, that that definitely was proven with the Shell Silver stuff, the Dean yeah. Ellis stuff. I mean, he's no respecter of, of parties. Uh, he will be known for, no doubt, uh, prosecuting, you know, public officials. That's that's something he does not shy away from. Matter of fact, um, you know, like like you said, it's all kind of blown up over the weekend. Uh, I want to know what happened with the phone call yeah. that uh, President yeah. Trump made, apparently, before Friday's, you know, call for resignations mm-hmm. for all these uh, U.S. attorneys. Which apparently is a no-no. You just said uh, the president should never, White House should never have basically have contact with a, with a uh, U.S. attorney. Yeah. Um, and it was, I'm, I, we're not getting all the details, but we're finding that it, it was odd. It's somewhat mysterious and nobody it, really knows. That part was, now it's not strange for the fact that, you know, that they've, they've asked them to resign. Yeah. Um, usually it's that, that's a, that's a standard thing. This happened to Jeff Sessions when Janet Reno came in. Right. Right. Um, many years ago. So it's not weird that that happened in the first place. I mean, many people may not realize that, but it usually comes with the thank you for your years of service. Mm-hmm. And it's not just, okay, 45 of you, you're out of here today. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, because some of them were actually planning, you know, they'd already, you know, they were making plans for their departure. It wasn't, they knew this was coming. And last um, year, the end of last year, the president, uh, president elect at that point met yeah. with Barrera and said, I'm going to keep you on. And of course, yeah. uh, for Trump, uh, the whole, this philosophy of draining the swamp. Well, if you're going to drain the swamp, he's your guy. Yeah, he's your guy because, like you said, he'll go after you know anybody who he thinks is is guilty of wrongdoing. It doesn't matter what party. It doesn't yeah. matter the situation. Uh, he's you know been doing a year long investigation into Mayor Bill De Blasio's campaign fundraising. Mm-hmm. Um, he's taking you know they're actually getting ready to to I guess you know, begin to try some of the uh, aides of you know Governor Cuomo um, for, yeah. for things. So I mean it. What happens to all that? Uh, there's a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, so what is the, uh, I mean, it's easy for people to take the, uh, automatically take the, the line that, hey, uh, he's, he was appointed by, uh, by Obama. Uh, it's a given he should go. But if you really look into this guy, I mean, yeah. I don't know the rest of them that ended up having to, to resign or, or get fired, but this is a, this is a guy, this, this move is baffling, I think. Well, I think it also gets more attention than anything else would any other of the resignations or the firings right. would, simply because um, this is where the president lives. Yeah. Wow. So, so. Um, and that's it. And uh, and I'm not sure we're going to find out what that what happened in that conversation. Barrara yeah. did uh, talk about it somewhat last night, but really didn't reveal what the conversation, uh, what, what actually happened during the conversation. Yeah, there was, I mean, I know we missed him on Thursday. He, he apparently, there was some sort of, he, they, they, they didn't. I don't think they talked. I'm not sure exactly what happened. There was, they, like I said, there's some details. <laughs> I would love to hear the backstory. Oh on yeah. This. <laughs> and then the fact that uh, they asked him to, they asked him to resign, and yeah. he refused. That's a bit of uh, that. That would be a bit of grandstanding, I think, on its own. Well, you know, he's been accused of. He's been accused of that. But he's he's mm-hmm. a he's no stranger to the media. I mean. Right. Uh, I've been here just uh, what for three and a half years now, and that was that was one of the first names uh, in local, well, not yeah. local, but New York politics that that I learned was Preet Bharara because you know he is he is not a stranger to to you know media stuff. He gets his he gets the word out when he's what he's doing. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, he he uh, he does, and even even loves to send out tweets um, almost. I giving just, you a bit of a tease, like, hey, you're, you know, that's just the beginning. Guess who's coming next? Just I mean, like yeah. Trump, by the way. Yeah, very, very, a lot very of similar, bravado, you know? Yeah. Bing, yeah, this, and he's got it, and his Twitter <laughs> number of followers have, have gone way up. He's yeah. got a personal account now, which he had. I think he started that. I know he already had the U.S. Attorney one. He, he started the personal one. It got a lot of press, like, in the last yeah. week, yeah. which maybe he saw this coming. I got to tell you, um, I don't follow any other U.S. Attorney on Twitter, but I follow, <laughs> Neither do I. But I follow but him. His, his story is fascinating. I don't know if you've, if you've ever gotten really No, I this. don't. No, what is the story? Oh, my goodness. Well, you, you Google it. I don't, I don't have time to, to tell you all of it right now, but it's fascinating. He, I think the New York Times did a piece on him in the last... Like, right. oh, I don't know, six months or whatever. Um, it, it's just, 
it, read it, read up on him. It'll be interesting, interesting to see what he does next. So, uh, yeah. all right, Tanya, good we'll. stuff. Thanks so much, sure, Tanya. Thanks. Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. Quick break.